What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Big Fella, back at y'all with another video. I know it's been forever in a minute since I posted a vid, but today I'm coming to y'all with some new uh, content. I'm going to be comparing, as you can see here, two pairs of Yeezy Boost. One of them is from the GOAT app. The other one is from StockX. The reason I wanted to do this video is because if you haven't heard, somebody has um, basically claimed to have gotten a fake pair of sneakers from GOAT, which GOAT has been deemed reliable by a lot of people. I've used GOAT. My buddy who let me borrow his pair of Yeezy, my buddy who let me borrow his pair of Yeezys has used GOAT a hell of a lot. And I'm not talking about for regular sneakers, but for the more higher end sneakers or more popular sneakers. So. Um, for somebody to say they got some fakes, ah, that's kind of questionable, but you never know. Um, and I went and tried Stock X for the first time to get my Yeezys. These are both zebras, same size, so we're going to compare them. Um, the story for the GOAT pair that supposedly was found to be fake was a pair of Cost 4s, and the person, they got them. And they went down to Riff, San Francisco. Riff checked them out, compared them to a pair they had in store, and they were determined to be fake. How true that is, I don't know, but that's a story that has came up. Um, I heard some chatter about StockX before as well. No sp specific stories, but um, I went ahead and gave, a, gave them a shot. Um, and we're going to compare these two and see what they look like. My go-to for um, authentications, I, I use these apps because I trust them to give me an authentic pair. But I also, I'm so skeptical nowadays with so many fakes being out there. I use the fake education Instagram page to uh, check out fakes as well. And they give you some, some detailed information on what's real and what's fake or what to look for to compare your kicks as well so i use fake fake education which is also somebody has made some claims about him but i mean nowadays who really knows nowadays it's to the point where you have to take your shoe all the way off and really look for small things to to uh, be able to tell if they're real or not but in essence these apps we have the people we don't know who who's verifying them um, it's not gonna be the same person verifying every pair of kicks so it's possible that some may slip through the cracks um, we're talking about thousands of pairs of shoes being bought through this app and verified to be authentic in that case it shouldn't be any getting by but you got different people verifying these kicks so everybody's not doesn't have the same eyes same set of set of eyes so i wouldn't be surprised if a fake does get pop get by especially the fact that fakes are getting that good but enough of all of that uh we can go ahead and get into the to the comparison let me show you how i use fake education on instagram that's fake f-a-k-e underscore education on Instagram check them out so we're gonna start off while that's loading with the comparison as you can see the boxes are the same size this is two size 11's so it's the same same size we compare them this pair right here is from StockX this right here is the pair from GOAT um, and these are the boxes side by side I haven't really looked at them in depth myself yet, but to me, the boxes look the same. Some people will talk about the discoloration of the the, the 350 writing or stuff like that, or the box being damaged. I don't see anything there. Um, one thing that Fake Education points out on his Instagram is on the box here, if you could see it zoomed in, the road underneath the word red is not is not perfectly aligned 
So the rogue, the word rogue should be a little in front of the word red, if you could see that. And I can verify that that is the case on both these pairs. That's one thing to look for on the box. Um, that's the only thing that I can remember him showing us on the box. Let's go ahead and this is the pair from StockX, like I said. Got the receipt in there and the letter of authentication. It also comes with a StockX sticker. Um, and lastly, it has the little hang tag on here, StockX. It says, please inspect item before removing tag. All claims null and void if removed. So that's a little more insurance there. I haven't taken it off, even though I have relaced it. I have tried it on. I opened it up already. Um, but I haven't taken it off because I want to see what his look like in comparison. And I guess if, if you get your shoe and you still, for some reason, think it's fake, you could uh, send it back. But you don't want to take this thing off. You can send it back or file a claim or whatever. So, as you can see, I, I relace in mine already. Um, I like to lace in my shoes over. I don't like the under look. So, that's just me. Um, and I got my little Ikea shoe trees in there. Um, yeah, those cost like a dollar or something if anybody is interested in those. Um, so, that's that's just the, this pair, the Stock X pair. And this is my boy pair. Here's this factory lace steel. Um, this is the the pair from Go. Well, actually, he unlaced this one a little bit. You know, the loosey goosey lace. But uh, yeah, let's get into the more of the detail and the comparison real quick. Um, I I unboxed mine like I said before. I did this video. I wanted to actually unbox it during the video. And I actually wanted my boy here to help me out uh, with the comparison. But it is what it is. He was nice enough to drop his pair off and let me use them. You know, we all got busy schedules. But follow him on Instagram, by the way. Thigh Slapper, a.k.a. Clutch Flores. So let's get into this comparison here, as you can see. They're both size 11. Um, let me put them to the side. I'm going to grab the same exact shoe. So another thing Yeezy, no not Yeezy Buster, sorry. Fake Education points out on on the uh, the fake versus authentic pairs is that the tip of the shoe, it should be uh, very milky. It shouldn't be that translucent. And what I want to do is kind of show you how the photos I'm actually talking about are comparison, comparing it to if this loads. Don't tell me. Take that shoe tree out. He talks about the insoles the insoles and how good the print is on there on the fake ones the print is not that quality like you could tell it's gonna come off like after a wear after one wear um, his shoe has some writing on the bottom. I don't know what that is, but but the insoles are identical. What else? Where you at, fake? Excuse my slow Wi-Fi, guys. Um, what else can I compare? The yellow on the back, that yellow strip um, on the fake pair. It's very, very close, but it's a little bit more yellow. Um, what else does he point out? If you see the, the sole is yellow on the bottom already. That's just how they're made from the factory. So here's the P 
picture on uh, fake education Instagram that I'm talking about as far as the lettering and also as you can see on the uh, fake one you can see the Yeezy print or the zebra print a little bit more through the uh, actual toe it should be more milky as both of these pairs are in front of me and as you can see the fake and the real pair the yellow strip on the back is very subtle you can't really tell the difference like that but that's how good fakes are these days um fake education also has some black light um images to verify i don't have a black light unfortunately to uh to try to compare those things um and also he compares the the little sticker that's on the inside of the shoe my boy has his on the outside of his box um i actually don't even have a sticker on mine so i don't have a sticker to compare the the differences i see between our pair right now is that he has his stickers out here he's been fondling around with his shoes so i don't know where he, and why he got a sticker out there i don't even have a sticker i got my tag still on here he don't i don't know knowing him he probably took his off but um like i said none of these little whatnots matter this this is not the shoe the shoe itself checks out which is the most important thing all the extras that don't really matter but i think the shoes are consistent i determine them to be real shout out to fake education for the info shout out to goat shout out to stock x um you gotta remember guys for those of you who are really into sneakers the air jordan royal ones those is several pairs of those a whole bunch of pairs and none of them are exactly the same you got tumble leather on a swoosh of some you got tumble leather on a toe box or the letter the the leather is different quality from shoe to shoe so there's no exact no shoe is exactly the same is all i can say i mean we're talking about thousands of pairs thousands of pairs so no shoe is going to be exactly the same you're going to find some flaws that don't mean that they're fake that just means that they're defected or there's something slight different um unless there's a cloning machine for these sneakers you gotta remember they're not going to be all exactly the same um when it comes to wearing fakes i don't see a problem with it if you admit that they're fake i mean not that i'm the boss of who wears fakes or, or who doesn't but if you're gonna wear some fakes just let it be known these these are fake and don't try to pass it off as real if you're gonna wear some real ones do your do your homework if you're trying to get some real ones do your homework you don't want to get overcharged and you getting getting finessed for some fake i don't think that's right so um do your homework if you're trying to get an authentic pair if you want choose to wear fakes hey you do you um like i said nowadays it's to the point where you don't know if somebody pair is fake unless they take it off and you looking at small things like that and somebody walking by you just think oh they fresh they fly you, you can't eyeball some some fakes are hella easy to eyeball just you can look at them those are fake but now some these triple a grades or whatever you want to call them you can't even tell but like i said um do your homework um these was a must-have they went from most limited v2 to the most available neither me or my boy should have had to pay resale for them if we would have did our footwork we should have got them for retail but we don't be willing to do that extra work i guess so it is what it is you gotta pay the price um these are the must must cop like i said these are my second favorite v2s and I say second only because there's a couple small things I dislike about them. I hate the fact that this is backwards. The writing, that bugs me for some reason, me personally. And this yellow strip, I really don't like too much neither. I don't understand why, if the whole sole is white, why this whole thing couldn't be white. And this couldn't be white as well. I mean, I know it's going to get yellow eventually, but I'd rather let it age naturally than to age it, have them age it for me but i don't know if that's what makes you uh determine that they're authentic easier or what were you thinking by doing this but i really don't like this yellow 
I usually don't even like soles with shoes with white soles, but these are sick right here, man. Yeah, man. I wish uh, this was front for front works, just like on the Belugas. The Belugas is the only pair that has the right in facing the correct way on both shoes. All the black ones with the stripes, they all have one facing the correct way and it's mirrored on the other shoe. This one is backwards on both shoes. That's my only only reason why I like the Belugas more. And I like that orange. That orange really pops. That Beluga colorway. Um, that really pops. It's like a, like a highlighter orange. It ain't just a regular basic orange. So it's really difficult to match some fits with that. But yeah, man. Like I said, these are must cop. Second favorite out of the V2s. I like these and the Belugas because it's got all this design. The, the plain black ones are... I like the red stripe, the breads, but these are the ones that are more out there. And this one and the Beluga. So these are my favorite two V2s. I have to have them. I would like to get that bread one because bread, black and red, is always a winner. Um, the red stripe is too expensive, but I would take that one out of all of the stripe colors. The creams are by far the worst colorway to me personally. But whatever the case, uh, stay tuned for my sneaker giveaway coming up in my entire sneaker collection video. Uh, most definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share. I'm gonna try to get some more content up more consistently. One love, peace out. Stay fresh. I can show how to flex. Another nigga with a check. And I can teach him how to dress The young niggas stay fresh And I can show him how to flex Another nigga with a check And I can show him how to dress Okay, you know us, they fly Yeah, you stay level, huh Red Gucci leather, yeah Rap and sweater, yeah Got rid of my girl, got a farm with an accent That's better, yeah I just had both of them